Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is gonna be a get ready with me mystery story time. I will be talking about the legendary Manananggal, which is a folklore monster from the Philippines. And I will be showing you some really interesting and creepy videos of people's experiences with the creature. So if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to hit ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload so yes let's just get into the video today is a juicy one I'm gonna be talking about the aswang I have some videos that whew, scary so grab your popcorn turn off the lights if you dare because it's gonna be a creepy one everyone and it's all about the manananggal I'm so excited to tell you about the manananggal because everybody and their mother knows about this creature from the Philippines I am breaking out because once again just like my last video which I'll be linking up here I did not do my skincare routine I slept in my makeup and I break out every single time I do that also my period is coming so maybe that's why I have some breakouts but I digress so all of the products that I will be using in this video will be linked in the description down below but hot shout out to the elf liquid poreless putty primer I have a video comparing this and the putty putty primer and I'll be linking that up here and down below as well so if you're curious how to compare you can go watch that okay so let's get on with it the manananggal you might have heard it pronounced differently especially if you're not from the Philippines you might have heard it being pronounced as manananggal correct pronunciation is Manananggal and this creature is basically a type of aswang or monster that lives or dwells in the Philippines so a little bit about the history of Manananggal so I believe it comes from like the base word tanggal which is to separate and the Manananggal basically separates its upper torso and lower half from each other when it starts to hunt there are other types of aswang as well like shapeshifters and um, our version of the werewolf but today we're focused on the manananggal this is I think the most popular of all the monsters in the Philippines I have heard about the manananggal ever since I was a little kid and I don't know where it originated to be honest with you but I do think that it started around the time when the Spaniards came to colonize the Philippines in the early I believe it was the early or the late 1500s please don't quote me I'm sorry to my history professor it's been a long time so not only does it split in half it's also got some bat like wings and a long tongue which is like the proboscis from insects did I pronounce that right proboscis 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 and you'll find out why they have proboscis in a while hang on hang tight get your popcorn turn down the lights lock your doors grab your cat because you're gonna need her so the manananggal's proboscis is said to be used so that it can suck fetuses out of the womb of pregnant women just like how mosquitoes suck the blood from your skin also for some reason they're more commonly female I've never really heard of a manananggal that was a male and I think this has to do with the Spanish colonization of the Philippines as well so how do they hunt they hunt at night and in the Philippines we don't really have a four seasons the Sun always usually sets around 6 or 7 p.m. and that's all year round unlike in Canada or other places where it's 10 a.m in the summer and it's still bright out this is where it gets really creepy the manananggal is said to hunt by first looking for a place to hide their lower half so they can't hunt with two of their halves together they have to find a place to hide their lower halves because they have to separate from their lower half and so once they remove themselves from their lower halves they sprout like huge bat-like wings and fly into the night looking for prey the manananggal they usually feed on pregnant women so not the pregnant woman herself but more the baby or the fetus inside the womb you know how I mentioned that they have this long tongue or a proboscis well that is what they use to suck the fetus out of the womb of the pregnant mother and this is their preferred prey I don't know of any instance where they feasted on 
dogs or any other prey, it's always been the fetus inside the womb. And so a lot of the time, when a mother suffers a miscarriage or something unfortunate happens to the baby, a lot of the time they blame the manananggal. Also, the manananggal has a like a sound that they make called uh, the tick-tick. We also call the manananggal tick-tick because of the sound. And this sound, they manipulate this so that they can make you think that you're safe. How do they do this, you may ask? Well, so it is believed that when the tick-tick sound is loud, then the aswang or the monster is far away from you but when it's soft it's right by your window so close your windows guys i have always been afraid of this sound especially in the philippines where a lot of the houses are actually made of bamboo and wood imagine me taking the sultry palette by abh like i don't think anybody ever uses this anymore but honestly this is one of my favorite palettes that they've ever created going back to my story the philippines has a lot of houses that are native and they're made of wood or bamboo and so a lot of the times the windows don't even have the glass or glass casings and it's normally just left open or you just put a curtain over top because it's really hot in the Philippines and you don't want to be spending a lot of money on electricity turning on your air conditioning or fan a lot of these houses don't even have air conditioning and so these windows are very easily penetrable also since these buildings are old and made of wood there's a lot of cracks there's a lot of holes and I think you can imagine where I'm heading towards with this. So the manananggal, when they find a crack in your home or in your roof or in your window, they will slide their long tongue or their proboscis into that crack and search for the womb. And just like a mosquito, it's going to penetrate the womb and suck out the fetus. Ugh, I'm terrified of <laughs> open windows. My sister knows this. I always have my windows closed. I always have it like chained to the wall if I can't close it properly. And all my doors are always, always double locked. I just can't like Imagine living with these stories ever since you were little. You just you, you take it with you. Continuing with the story. So after they've had their fair share of their hunting or their food, they fly back into the body, the, the lower half of their body, reconnect itself, and then they turn back into a normal looking human being. Again, mostly most of the time female. And they look just like you or me. And that's what makes it scary because we don't know if they're living among us there's basically like an alien situation where you don't know who's an alien living among us or or what's that other one lizard people like you don't know you just you just don't know so how do you defeat this manananggal you may ask well there are a few things that you can do the first one is pretty obvious basically you grab a spear they just sharpen the edge of the bamboo and then that's their spear so much like a vampire for example you can pierce it through the heart if you see it and i guess that'll do it so there is another option so the second way to defeat a manananggal is actually a little bit easier I feel or less violent so by the way I'm using a blush from the NYX and Barbie collaboration I have a video on that and I'll be linking that up here go watch it I think it's a lovely um, collaboration and I mean it's Barbie so going back what you can do if you don't want to like pierce it through the heart is you can look for its lower half you remember how I said that it would look for a place to hide its lower half so that it can detach itself and go away and hunt so its lower half will just be hanging around waiting for or its upper half to come back and reattach itself and that's when you can take your chance and just look for the lower half you're gonna have to sprinkle some salt some vinegar or some spices on that dismembered area so that it will be unable to reconnect itself and as long as it's unable to connect itself back into its lower half as soon as the Sun rises the manananggal will be no more so how do you protect yourself from the manananggal well 
Well, there's a few things you can do that's very simple. You can either sprinkle water and garlic on your windowsill or along your doorways, just how you would basically do that for vampires as well. And in a video, I'll be showing you the guy, he added like salt vinegar in water and then he would use that to sprinkle it around because apparently they don't like the smell of this and it kind of basically repels them. And yeah, I'm gonna use a brown lipstick for this before I start showing you some videos of sightings of this Mananangal creature. I'm gonna use this body glitter from Bath and Body Works. It's called Vampire Blood. I love the scent and it comes out in like a nice like moussey texture and it just gives your body like literal glitter it doesn't give you like a glow but it does make your body glitter and to be honest i love that and it goes with our theme today because it's vampire blood so yeah let's get into some videos that i'll be showing you i can't play the whole video but i will link the videos in the description down below for you to check it out so the first video i'll be showing you is actually a little bit um creepy it's more creepy for me because it's actually from the city I actually grew up in which is Iloilo so this video was posted on Twitter and I will be leaving the link down below for you to watch the whole thing so right now she's screaming with a bunch of people on the street because they are seeing something on the roof of these houses and you can see them run from one street to another because they see something moving they're also screaming oh the kids the kids and at one point the girl says wow oh my gosh I see it I see it and she says it looks like a big cat and it was so ugly. I honestly cannot see the creature on the roof so I'm like playing this to mass hysteria but I'm not saying this is not real I mean this video is very poor quality and it was at night so who... huh? Ate? Ate? Could have sworn I heard my sister call my name, but nobody was there. I'm gonna have to rewind the footage and see if I could hear that. That was weird. Okay, that was weird. Um, anyway, going back to my story, weird. I couldn't really see anything in the roofs, so maybe you can see something, making you can spot something that I don't see, but it's really creepy that everybody is like screaming and looking at the roofs and i'm just really creeped out by this but at the same time it's kind of nice to see everybody huddled up together to make sure everybody was safe the second video is even more creepy because this was posted and reported in February of this year, 2023. And it's gotten so much hype that even the government of Cebu, which is the city where this was coming from, had to tell people that it's okay, don't overanalyze, don't panic, everything is fine. That's how bad this got. And that's why I had to include it in today's video. So apparently, in this place called Talisay in Cebu, there were two kids. They're actually protecting the names of these kids, so let's just call them Kid 1 and Kid 2. So Kid 1 and Kid 2 were, of course, filming a TikTok, as they do. And it was at nighttime in their area. And one of the kids, Kid 1, let's say, she looked around into the roof of their neighbor's house and spotted an aswang or a manananggal. And after that, she screamed, she got so frightened that she ran away. And Kid 2 didn't understand what was going on, but she looked up and she saw the same creature from behind. This was reported by Jessica Soho, which is one of my favorite journalists because her videos are so entertaining. And I will be linking that full video down below for you to watch. But it is in Tagalog, so unfortunately I can't really translate everything for you but the gist of it is these two girls saw it a man also saw a creature that is similar to this and another man also saw the same creature like crawling on the floor when he was peeing on a tree in the middle of the night they pulled in a sketched artist to try to sketch what the girls had seen they even brought in a supernatural detective who i've seen many times in many different videos doing his thing and he came 
came on and he did some investigations as well. Now they couldn't really conclude for sure that this being exists but the girl is clearly traumatized. She says at one point in the video that whenever she sees that spot that she saw the being at, she would always remember the eyes and they would just get bigger and bigger in her mind. So that is very traumatizing. So honestly, I am really creeped out. The hairs on my arms are kind of like standing up because of what happened earlier. Um, I am kind of literally scared. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy this video? What did you think about the Manananggal? Do you believe in it? Have you ever seen or experienced something like this? To be honest, since I live in the Philippines for most of my life, I have heard a lot of people talk about this and they've even had their own experiences. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload. And I hope you like the new setup, by the way. This is my new little studio. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!